Okay, thank you. So I'm, I'm going to, to talk about uh, the project that we are working on, which is around the continue building the plant breeding ontology to, on one hand, connect phenotypic data and, on the other hand, uh, genotypic data. <coughs> okay, so the motivation is actually twofold. On the, on the one hand, what we want to do with this relatively new ontology is to, to let's say, help or support the, the, the dialogue among different kinds of users. As you can see, for instance, the, plant, the, the actual plant breeders, uh, seed growers and uh, field testers, or even the people in the lab, which are most of the time referring to the same terminology, but with, with different, let's say, terms or different vocabulary. So with this new ontology, what we want to do is to support the work that they have doing. This doesn't mean that what we want to do is to change the way on which they are speaking or the terminology that they are using. What we, we simply want to do is to integrate the kind of vocabulary that they have. So on the, on the other hand, the second motivation is to, as I already mentioned in the title of the presentation, to connect these two words, genotype and phenotype. There you can see a diagram that is, let's say, summarizing very abstractly, let's say, the two different worlds on, on which we have, let's say, on the yellow branch, the phenotypes, the values and the description that all of those entities have, and on the other hand, on the orange-like side, the genotype. So, of course, to support all this, we will need a, an integrated repository that we plan to exploit through an API and different other resources. Andrea, in the next talk, is going to provide some more details about the high aid annotation uh, 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 pipeline and, uh, and the API and the system that she has developed. So the current situation on the, for the time being is that we have a, a glossary uh, related to, the, to breeding, to plant breeding in specifically. This is multilanguage. We have about four languages which are supported for the time being with uh, the corresponding synonyms. And the plan is, of course, to not rebuild uh, something that is already there, like the, the trait ontologies. So we want to be something, or what we, how, how is it called, orthogonal to those other existing ontologies. So the first version has been released a few years ago, and the plan is to work on this version and to continue enriching with new terms. So this this schema is, is showing the uh, uh, yeah, how we are, uh, where we are what we are going to go. So at, by the end of the hackathon, we plan to deliver uh, an RDF version of this on, on, of this ontology, and uh, to, by the conjuncting or adding, let's say, different other vocabularies and dictionaries, plus the, the glossary that we have already displayed. So the, in relation to the second motivation on the more, let's say, biological usage, as you can see here, we want to really connect what is happening on the genotype side with the, with the phenotype side. So of course, this has to be uh, built on up, upon, let's say, a, 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 among, let's say, co uh, having a, a data integration uh, based on RDF on, on the system that we are planning to build. So uh, among the, the the resources that were that are on the spotlight, there you can see a few of them that are going to be worked on on, on this week. As you can see, there are a few traditional ones that are already very well known, in, at least in, in within this domain. So I'm kind of not going to go into the details, but uh, this is just to show that which ones are, are, are going to be employed at the very beginning. So there you can see a series of uh, screenshots of the, let's say, the, 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 these data sources. So for instance, this is coming from the, from the uh, RISE uh, snip seq database, which is going to provide, already, we already investigated which kind of traits could be linked to this, to this database. From this database, sorry. There you can see, for instance, how the time of the type of data that is going to be extracted. And the next one, please. Yeah, this is a similar situation where we can see then, yeah, some names, some uh, yeah, cultivars, the crop, a different kind of data in relation to, to breeding data, of course. Uh, more, more of the data that will be also useful. And uh, yeah, and finally, yeah, this is the screenshot of the system that Andrea is going to, to, to present later on. So uh, this is uh, the team uh, for the time being. Uh, I'm going to closely work with Andrea. Uh, this morning we already had a chance to discuss with uh, Hiroshima-san and, uh, and Pierre Larmont, which, uh, who already presented uh, AgroLD. So you are welcome to join, and uh, you want to be part of the team too. So basically this is the plan that we've been outlining since uh, yeah, prior the hackathon, actually, on which we've been already working on. 
okay. So thanks, uh, especially to the organizers again for the opportunity and yeah, for for providing the framework to work together. Thank you.